in Saratoga, right off Quito Road. It's a beautiful Sunday day and I'm here to meet with uh, Harry Sripadana, who is an awesome local architect and he built himself a really, really green home. It's a LEED Gold certified, you know, he, he invited us over. Very excited to be here. Let's go and check it out. Let's go meet Harry. Hi, welcome. My name is Harry. I'm an architect and this is my house. Um, this is uh, Bay Area's, one of the first LEED uh, certified homes that have achieved a Gold Level Award. And I'm here to explain all the features about my house and I hope you enjoy. Um, the sustainable design, green design, focuses on five different aspects of uh, the design, which is a site planning, uh, water efficiency, being an indoor or exterior use water efficiency, uh, energy use, uh, indoor air quality, and the lastly, material efficiency, whether it's uh, uh, less use of materials, renewable materials, recyclable materials, all of those fall into that category. Let's talk about the uh, side design aspects of the building, which is the first aspect that I was talking about earlier on. If you look at my house, it's very linear and it's facing only in the east-west direction. So it takes advantage of the solar uh, path. The sun can, winter sun can come in in the winter because of the expo exposure to the south side. And with the shades and awnings, you can prevent the summer sun to come in. Yes. If you see, we are standing on the south side of the house and the house is oriented in the east-west direction in a linear fashion. And all the windows back here that you see they're all uh, capturing the sun's light when the sun is in the low angle, in the low angle sun coming in the winter. And uh, the shades that are all around these windows, they protect the sun. When the sun is high in the summer, they protect the sun from not entering the house. So now my house is naturally warmed um, by the solar sun. There's no heating inside. And it's without any heating, with, without any additional cost, here's how you can heat a house uh, with the sun's natural power. You see these uh, little pebbles here that have formed the perimeter of the house. Uh, what these are doing is they're, they're working as a natural filtration system of collecting all the rainwater and not let it escape onto the stormwater system which eventually goes to the sea, but retain it and recharge the groundwater uh, system that we have under the So under where the does ground. it all go once it goes under the it, gravel? It basically goes back to the uh, aqua storage system. Oh, it does? It's just... Oh, it's absorbed back it's by absorbed the ground. back into the ground. <laughs> okay, so here is uh, Oregon grape, which is a uh, native California plant. Here is Levitera. These use very little water. There is uh, thyme, there is uh, sage. All of these plants are um, native to California, and they require very little maintenance and very little water. Harry, what's going on here? It looks like you have a forest floor on your roof. This is called a, a green roof, where you grow succulents on top of your roof. They keep your house cooler in the summer, they keep your uh, house warmer in the winter, and they also filter the rainwater and recharge the uh, aquifers in the groundwater system. Harry, I'm looking at all these windows here on your roof, and uh, I'm imagining this is where all of your natural heat comes in from what you were telling me before. Is that true? What's going on here? That's, that's right. We intentionally made the roofs on the south side low and flat to allow for the windows to happen here high up close to the roof to allow for the winter sun to come into the house and daylighting and ventilation but not the summer sun because of the overhangs. Harry, what's going on here? I see redwood all over the place. I'm about to call environmental police on your <laughs> greenhouse. What's your excuse for this? <laughs> Relax, Dallas. This is a redwood we bought on Craigslist from a house that was 100 years old. The person uh, milled it for us. And this is old growth redwood. You can't find this kind of redwood anymore, but it's all reclaimed. So you bought part of your house on Craigslist. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>
See, kind of this always wood that you see in the roof, uh, the old house had a similar roofing system, so we saved it, we sanded it, and then out came this beautiful redwood, and we really used it exactly the same way that old house had. And uh, we were able to reduce my costs and save the environment. Harry, this looks like an ice cream sandwich. What are you doing with this? Well, Tadas, this is actually the insulation we put on top of the roof. This allowed us to free up the space and not have an attic and keep the heat outside the house. Normally, the heat is trapped inside the attic and then eventually it heats up the house. Here, you're keeping the heat outside the house. Harry, let's talk about what every lady wants to know about, insulation. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have going here? Well, what's behind these walls is not the conventional bad insulation that you typically have in residences. It is the blowing insulation. Blowing insulation is something that uh, uses a machine to blow fiber into the walls, into every nook and corner, and that makes your house a lot more efficient than the conventional bad insulation. Okay, Tana, so I'm going to show you something really cool about the ventilation of the house. See this? fan I just turn it on. I can hear it. It is a very powerful fan that sucks up the whole air from the house and exhausts it through the roof. So follow me. Can you feel the air coming through the window here? Absolutely. This is how you can create negative pressure in the house by turning on your whole house fan and direct the cool air to come into your house wherever you want it to. So you can that way Bring in natural air to cool the house without turning on your AC. So you were telling, these must be the windows that you were talking about. This is, that takes uh, advantage of the passive uh, solar, right? And yeah. what, what does it do? This, this part of the house, you can see, this is the highest part of the house. It works like a thermal chimney. Those two windows up at the top pull the cold, cool air from the lower windows because as he, if the house heats up in the summer because the sun heating the roof, and the hot air raising and exiting through those two windows, cool air comes in naturally from the lower parts of the window. So the house is continuously being ventilated in summer and cooling the house naturally. This house has no air conditioning. Okay, Harry, this looks like your favorite toy in the house. What's going on here? You're right, Tadas. This, my wife loves this. This is called radiant heating system. It's a hydronic heating where the hot water runs in the concrete. So when you wake up in the morning, the floor feels warm, not cold when you uh, touch. Uh -huh. Because it heats us through conductivity, it's a much more efficient way of heating the house. So you don't have dust blowing all over the house because of uh, the air conditioning or the heat furnace system that you have normally oh. in the house. So the heat's coming from the floor, is not from your uh, ducting system. That's right, that's right. So, what I've learned here from you today is that you can build in an environmentally sensitive way mm -hmm. by planning properly from the beginning, uh -huh. where you use all of your components in the house in a more holistic way, where not only they complement each other, but also they maximize the benefit of those components uh -huh. to give you, at the end of the day, uh, a more comfortable uh, place to live in. Is that correct? That's right. I mean, look at the sunshine that's coming into this house. Without any artificial lighting, you can have, feel the fresh sunshine and natural air without any air conditioning. My energy bill is very low. It's just $61 uh, in summer, gas and electric combined. Winter, it's about $150. So very minimal energy costs. You're saving less, you're spending less on your water. So your water bill, bill is low. And um, the, my, my, my family is living in a much more comfortable, healthier, Environment, which is what which it's is all about, very, isn't it? which is very important to me. So it's, this is this is what I enjoy doing. This. So to sum it up, we can do this with today's technology, with today's materials, with proper planning. You can make this thing without costing you more. So sustainability is not some sort of a pie in the sky uh, out there. Anybody can do this with proper planning. Let's that's what, that's the message I wanted to give to you. Anybody can do it with proper planning. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Architect. Thank you. I'll see you around. Thanks so much. All right.